right, man, CGA back in the building, the notorious one right here. As you know, this is the Bruce Wayne of this, also the king of content and the speaker of truth. We back in here in Las Vegas, all right, downtown Summerlin. We're hanging out at the mall. I'm trying to figure out what theme we're gonna have today, and I know what it is. It's a theme that I talk about in my book, The Free Agent Lifestyle. Go get it. The link is in the description box below. We talk about the box, all right? Not boxing yourself in. Boxing yourself in means these things right now. I know when you're younger, there's a lot of things going on in your life that might be, uh, you know, you don't really know your place in life yet. So you tend to accumulate every single thing in this little box, or you tend to allow people to box you in a certain position. It might be your parents. It might be your family, it might be your, your brothers, your siblings, your friends, the people at your school. And a lot of times people box you in, they box you in by race, religion, class, and a lot of these other things. Well, as you get older, you figure out yourself, you figure out who you need to be in life, and you start not allowing people to box yourself in. People box yourself in on sexuality. At some particular point, you'll figure out you don't need to remain in all of these boxes, all right? You don't need to box yourself in all of these things because at some particular point, and we all face this, you might get caught in the burning house. We talk about the principle of the burning house as well, all right? Your house is burning, you got 25 seconds to collect whatever you need to collect and leave everything else behind. And a lot of times in our country, the economy's burning, sometimes your family might you know, be broken down or something like that. Sometimes your neighborhood might not be very good. So in this burning house principle idea, you got 25 seconds. What are you gonna take with you? What ideas, what philosophies, what politic ideologies? What are you gonna take with you? Sometimes we take way too much. We take way too much with us and then we're defined by these things because we box ourselves in. So we try to teach people, man, try not to box yourself in too much. Whatever you can't take with you might be a benefit with you. You can unload all of that stuff and take two ideas, two theories, two principles to live by, two pieces of ideas financially and live with those things. So let's talk about those things. We're gonna go shopping or at least we're gonna visit the Raider store. Tomorrow is gonna be my first game my first game, I've been a season ticket holder for three years with the Vegas Raiders, but because of COVID-19 and then they had the damn vaccine passport thing, I haven't been able to t attend a regular season game in Las Vegas. I think tomorrow is gonna be my first one. So let's check out the Raiders store and see if I can get some gear for tomorrow's game. All right, welcome to the Raider store over in Summerlin. We're about to get a couple of items so we can get to the game, man. Like I told you earlier, this is gonna be my first game. So if you take a look at everything they got going on here, everything's Raider Nation in the building. All right, I don't wanna hear no jokes about the Raiders, man. I know what y'all gonna say. We are a good team. We're committed to excellence. Three-time Super Bowl winner. I know it's been like 20 or 30 years, but it is what it is. You know, everything you need, Raiders in the building would be probably something I would do to my living room or my loft to decorate it like this. I actually need a polo shirt because I just bought one recently and I don't know where I placed it, but they got everything you need in here. They got football jerseys for men and women cut for the certain style, t-shirts, hats, and everything you need to appear at the game. You'll probably see a vlog of me at the first game too. Any type of hat that you like. I'm not really a hat guy. I got I got a lot of hats that I collect, but I'm not really a hat guy. When I lose all this hair, I probably wear a lot more hats. All the hat styles that you need, men and women, white, black. You know what's funny? They actually have Raider hats in blue and red, all right, in all kind of other colors. And I think that's like, come on, man, that's like a Yankees hat in red. Come on. You'll probably never see a serious fan with a hat that's red or blue, but they probably do that for gang gojo. I'm definitely gonna pick up one of these polos because for me, I can't wear a football jersey every week to the football game. So I'm gonna probably pick up one of these with the embroidered Raider logo, that shield, the unmistakable logo of the Raiders. I'm definitely gonna pick this up. I don't know if you know, August, September, I've been to a couple games. What tends to happen is it's hot in Las Vegas. You're talking about triple digit temperatures. Oddly enough, the colors are silver and black, mostly black. And when you're wearing a football jersey, you're basically wearing very heavy material. So sometimes you gotta wear your lighter wear in August and September. I've been to a few preseason games, but no regular season games. I'm gonna need this. You got your Raiders watch on clearance. You got your Raiders wine glasses. This is if you're a Raiders fan, you in heaven right now. Raiders wine glasses, purses for the ladies, earrings and pins and lapels. You got the number one phone finger right here. You know what I mean? Number one Las Vegas Raiders in the building. As you know, I'm the number one fan. Probably not, but the team is number one. You got license place frames, all of this stuff, all of the insignias that I have in my loft already. 
you got your comforters, bed spreads, and all of this stuff. This is a heaven for, for a real true fan. I also had the barbecue set myself, because you know I like to grill and smoke, and I definitely have the whole little thing. I got the chef hat and a little apron and all that stuff too. I don't think they had that here, but you got the fabulous Raiderette calendar. I believe that's the calendar right there with all the girls on it. I think they got a couple of doctors and lawyers on there too, as far as I know. All right, this seems to be the kid section and the lady section, so it's nothing here for me, but if you do have kids and you got a, a girlfriend that's a Raider fan, they probably will be in this section fitting it in. Oh, man. Ah, uh, the Raiders recliner, man. That's what, hey, listen, what I need if I'm sitting at home and the Raiders are at the road. The Raider style recliner, that one has a, a beer holder or a cup holder right here. All right, no cup holder, but I'm sure I could kick my feet up watch the entire game and watch the Raiders win. All right, you got the Raiders golf bag right here for everybody that gets their golf set. They tee off, seems pretty light. I might check that out. But let's go ahead and get this polo shirt. We're gonna make this one happen. It's got a little bit problem with the hanger right there. So let's see. Yeah, that's the one. All right, you're gonna see me rocking that in the next vlog. This one's gonna be the one. All right, dressing light for the heat. All right, finding those things, man, you talked about earlier, finding those few things that you'd be willing to rescue from the burning house, that's gonna give the confidence, all the confidence that you need to be whoever you need to be in the world. It takes some time to develop those ideas and thoughts, and it also takes time to speak very confidently about them. And those are gonna be your belief systems. Once you have those, you can shed the rest and you can start enjoying your life. And the people that will be behind you and around you that believe the same thing you believe or at least accept your beliefs are the people that you need to be with, all right? Those are the people you focus on. The people who you don't try to win over are the people outside of that box, right? Or that wanna keep you in that box. The people outside of that, they stay behind. You can focus and be confident in what you need to do. All right, man, the next vlog, you're probably gonna see me at the Raiders game all decked out and everything that I just bought. Cheering on the Raiders, man, to their first win. Thank you for joining me. Do me a favor, like, share, subscribe to this channel, and we out of here.